Hey there everyone, welcome to complete backend development with Node.js with many projects. Node.js without a doubt is one of the most revolutionary technology in the world of backend development. Not only just web apps, variety of mobile apps are also being powered at the backend using Node.js. Because of its simple reason, it's flexible, it's easy to learn and it's very high performance. Not only just startups, a variety of stable companies are now moving towards Node.js. And this is the perfect time to learn Node.js. Hi, my name is Hitesh and I have been programming for almost 10 years now. With over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 150,000 registered users at variety of global platforms where I teach, my specialty is to teach any topic in a fun and engaging manner so that learning becomes exciting and fun. In the past, I have created best-selling and life-changing boot camps on front-end technologies, iOS and Android as well. And finally, I'm here with another exciting course of complete back-end development with Node.js. I have taken boot camps all over the globe and lectures as well. I know for a new student, it is so much difficult to understand the technology, to read the documentation and implement them as their own project. It is so hard, but I have made sure in this entire course that you don't face this problem. You learn how to read the documentation, you learn how you can apply those documentation and create a simple project. So coming to the big question, what we'll be learning in this course? In this course, we'll learn how we can install the tools and we'll be starting right from there. Once we have installed the tool and properly configured them for this course, we will move toward learning JavaScript, the essential basic for learning anything that uses JS at the end. Yes, no JS, React or Vue, anything. JavaScript is a must known technology. So we'll start right from there. We'll learn the basics of JavaScript and we'll move towards the advanced part of JavaScript that is also known as ES6 and is going to help us later in this course. During the journey of learning JavaScript, I'll be throwing up a variety of challenges as well as we'll be creating some projects so that you can brush up your skills on JavaScript as well. Once we are done with the JavaScript part, we'll move to the Node.js part. We'll again start from installing the tools and properly configuring everything for the Node.js development environment. We'll be starting right from the basics that how you can create your own very basic server and from there we'll move on to the little bit advanced part. We will walk through with the Express, we'll learn about how the routing in the Node.js works, how the body parser in Node.js works, what is middleware, what is this routing, what is body parsing and all other such terminologies. Once we are done with the basics of routing, middleware and all these fun stuff, we'll start moving and creating a small project for ourselves. Projects like how we can design a simple application where user can upload his photo and that photo appears as a profile pic in a simple project. Once we are done with that, we'll move on to Passport.js and we will learn how we can read the documentation of Passport.js by implementing everything from the documentation and applying the knowledge in creating a simple application that has Facebook authentication. Once we are done with these kinds of basics and are, of course variety of other projects as well, we'll finally move on to the very exciting part which is a big stack project. We'll try and replicate to clone the website of Stack Overflow. Hey, I know the Stack Overflow is a really big website. We cannot clone that just in a course. So of course, we'll be creating a very simple and core to the basic foundation of Stack Overflow, where user can create an account, can add some things into their account, and then ask some question, and people can upvote and downvote their answers. As simple as it sounds. But this entire thing will help you to understand how a real life project is being designed and how it is made scalable as well as robust. There is so much to learn in this course that I highly recommend you check out the course content so that you can understand that yes, this course is in great depth. My goal behind this course was not only just to write the code in front of you. My goal was simply to make you understand that how one can read the documentation, can apply them in their own project and if somehow he faces the problem, how to debug those problems as well. The next big question that might be in your mind is, what are the prerequisites for this course? Now, as we are starting directly from installing the things and learning JavaScript, there is no such prerequisite for this course. But yes, there is one. You need to be eager to learn and you, have, you should have an open mind of understanding the things. That's the only thing that is required for this course. If you're wondering that, hey, front-end is a necessary technology to learn for the back-end, no, it is not. This course is totally designed keeping in mind that yes, a person can be just a front-end developer or can be a back-end developer. So in this course, we'll be focusing totally and totally on back-end stuff, nothing about front-end much. But this doesn't mean I haven't touched the front-end part. 
I have talked a lot about templating and how these things can be done. But for all of this, exercise files are being provided so that, so that you don't have to touch much into the front end part. Node.js is one of the most promising technology and it is powering a lot of mobile apps and web apps and is kind of dominating the entire world of backend. There are huge opportunities in the backend development, especially with the Node.js. So now is the perfect time to get started. So without wasting any more time, I highly recommend you to check out the course content, check out some of the free preview videos and decide yourself that how much you're gonna learn in this course. Okay, so enough of the talk, there is a lot that we need to learn. So without wasting any more time, check out the course description, some of the free preview videos, and I will surely catch you up inside the course. Catch you up there.